In yawns of dawn departure loaded, yet left behind the camera. Not for the first time we're reduced to postcard reminiscences. Look right there in the glove box crushed. A former plastic canister spills its sprung brown roll, glossy with pictures taken yet concealed. Scenes not seen, forever frozen in the pause before a red light shows, get held in fleeting recollection. That moment when I squeezed your hand, kissed your cheek and cracked a feeble joke. Because we stood and gazed beyond the margins frame of reference, I know by heart its landscape. Sundown across waves, a cliché slips behind the lid of nightfall. Looming large at distance, but in a snapshot's fixed alignment, close up, the green-washed glitter is never so sublime. Remember, we leave some day as we came in. Take only what's disposable. You said I was getting just like your dad. By the time he died, his pockets bulged or weighed down with them. You could hear their jangle, all shapes and sizes. No wonder he needed a belt. None, as far as you knew, fitted anywhere. But, I countered, they could have. In the teeth of every blade, an answer to the unsolved puzzle of a lock. Each might reveal some secret if we only guessed where its keyway was. Try one, have a go. Between thumb and crooked finger, take the bow, apply some torque and turn its shaft. Listen for pins tumbling to their sheer line and imagine. The view from a sash window, a tune from a musical box, the petty rattle of a cash tin, a sewing machine's whir, escape on an unchained bike, a sandwich in a briefcase, the whiff of grass cuttings in a shed, the privacy of a drawer, keepsakes in a treasure chest. I carry on about the openings, the untold stories behind front doors, but you're not persuaded, I can tell. Simply scrap metal, you argue, not even worth recycling. Whatever, this collection stays. You never know when one may fit. Along with the redundant foreign coins, I'll leave you them in my will. An array of question marks. Shivago watches his pregnant wife. Here's her purpose in the rhythmic thud of flat triangle stroked over cloth. She takes its point into the tuck of cuffs, follows the edge of pleats with heat and weight loosening the long chain bonds. I look on, share her fixed impatience with the, impatience with the slightest crinkle, straightening in my head the crooked fibres. Collars are flattened wrong side first, even in the yoke of his shoulders, creases are pressed knife sharp, no puckering. Here, we bring you this pile of lines, smoothed and fastidiously folded. Finish the job, put them where they belong. <laughs>